general, we have not seen an increased risk in contracting uh, COVID-19 for patients with congenital heart disease. Uh, I think just like any other patient with any other chronic disease, they have to follow the same public health principles, mask wearing, social distancing, hand washing, and so we haven't seen a disproportionate rate of, of contracting COVID-19 in our population. First, let me say that there's different levels of congenital heart disease ranging from mild to severe. And furthermore, uh, not all individuals have the same heart function or the squeeze of the heart can, be, can vary. And those can uh, portend different uh, outcomes depending on where you land in that spectrum. Like with any other disease process, any individual that has congenital heart disease and then also has high blood pressure uh, or uh, diabetes or obesity, are at a higher risk, like anyone else would be at a higher risk with those same comorbidities, uh, because those are things that we know that, that portend worse outcomes for COVID-19. There has been a study in uh, New York that was done on congenital heart disease patients. Uh, they looked at a variety of different spectrum of patients, and what they found was that if you have congenital heart disease uh, and you have a genetic abnormality like trisomy 21 or Down syndrome, or if you have congenital heart disease and you are, are an adult and you have worse heart squeeze or worse heart function, those outcomes tend to be more severe. Yes, yes they can and as a matter of fact we encourage it. We encourage uh, not only uh, for them to get the COVID vaccine but also if they receive the COVID vaccine, um, it should be under the auspices of guidance from either the institution, uh, their physician, or the CDC in terms of if, if, they are, uh, if it applies to them to be able to get the vaccine. But yes, we do encourage it. With patients with congenital heart disease, we do have the availability here at Texas Children's to get a COVID vaccine. So I'd make sure to look into that and speak to your physician about that. We'd also recommend uh, continuing to get your flu vaccine, continuing to get other vaccines that your pediatrician recommends that are appropriate for your age. Um, and of course, we would further uh, and lastly recommend ongoing public health measures, social distancing, hand washing, and mask wearing.